Hey guys, what's up? I'm Thomas Webenfart, as usual, and I have a new little idea for a series that I'm going to do and try to kick it off with this video. I usually do some coding stuff that I prepare a lot, and I create the tutorials for you guys to check out and code along with me. In this case, I'm going to try out Next.js without ever... I haven't done any pre-work on it. I haven't checked it out. I don't know anything. I used Next.js for a long time ago, so I don't know exactly how to set it up now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to their homepage and I'm going to set up something. I'm going to set up a new Next.js project with Create Next App instead of Create React App and see how it goes. So yeah, check it out. That's what I'm going to do in this video. All right, this is going to be fun actually because I wanted to try the new versions of Next.js out. I haven't tried it for a long time. So this is going to be fun. So I'm at nextjs.org. Yeah, and they say the Re React framework for production. Next.js gives you the best developer experience with all the features you need for production. Hybrid, static, and server rendering. This is cool, actually, because... Uh, and you have TypeScript to support also, but this is cool because if you, you have, for example, like Gatsby, you create static websites with Gatsby. You can have a hybrid of static and server rendering with Next.js, and that's what I think... It's, it's pretty cool. And I know that a lot of more people start, have started to talk about Next.js. So I guess they will give Gatsby a big fight about the position on static websites. And you can see there's a lot of companies using Next.js. So it's a really good framework, I think. And let's hope it's uh, really good now because I haven't, as I told you now, I haven't tried it out for a long time. So that's why. Uh, all right, uh, learn or start learning. Maybe I should start learning. Okay, create a Next.js app. I know it's called create Next app instead of create React app because a lot of people use create Next app when they want to bootstrap a React application. So you don't need to use create React app to do that. You can use create Next app and it will give you a lot of stuff for free. Like for example, server-side rendering and stuff. So they tell you a little bit about here. Uh, to build a complete React app from scratch, blah, 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 blah. The framework can solve these problems. Okay, next, yes, the React framework, great. And here's what I have also. They have a page-based routing system, so you can put your components inside, your page components inside a folder, and it will create routes automatically. That's what I remember. I liked a lot when I used Next.js and pre-rendering both static generation and server-side renderings. So you can choose what you want here, and you can mix them together. Okay. Client-side routing, automatic code splitting, built-in CSS and SAS support. Yeah, I use style components because I like it. So this is probably not something that I'm going to use that much. I'm probably going to use it in combination with style components, but not today. I'm just going to try how it is and just set it up and see if I can get it going and see how the product looked like that I set up here. Okay, so this is an interactive course. We'll guide you through how to get started. All right, blah, 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 blah. But the documentation actually seems pretty solid. So that's great. It's a good start. A blog app, okay. Here's an example of the final result. All right, well, it's a blog, <laughs> nothing more, nothing less looks great and you can see it's super fast so that's cool you don't have any load times and stuff like that okay so that's what we're building uh basic knowledge of javascript and react okay if you never written react code you should go through the official React. yeah and that's what i always tell you guys also when you for example enroll in my courses or do a youtube video you should probably go through this tutorial first because they will have you covered about the basics in react Okay, and then I have the documentation, but for now, I think I'm good here. I'm going to click Start Now. Set up, okay. Node, I have that uh, on text, yeah. Uh, we're going to use VS Code, and here is Create a Next.js application, okay. So, they use NPX, and then they have the Create the Next App instead of Create React App, if you're used to that. And then they have the name. And use npm, okay. And they have flagged it with example, and then they have the example, okay. So you can probably create a site with just npx create react app and your name. You don't need this starter here. 
I guess <laughs> I continue here now. So I'm gonna copy this row here. Isn't it possible to just mark it? Yeah, copy. And then I go to my terminal. I'm inside a folder where I want to create a project. Okay, so npx create dash dash next dash app and then the name of the application. In this case, it's it's nextjs dash blog, and they flag it with use npm and they flag it with example and then they have a URL to the example here. So I press enter and see what happens. Okay. So I wait for it and grab a little bit of coffee here. Yeah, I think it was pretty solid. I think also it didn't took as much time as for example with create React app. Okay. So that's our project. CD nextjs dash blog. Let's see what we've got. I'm gonna open up the code editor. I'm gonna drag it in here for you guys. See what files we have. Okay, package. Not that many dependencies. We have next React and React DOM. Okay, pretty clean here, I must say. And we have dev, next dev, next build, next start. Okay, great. Public, that's where our app is gonna go when it's compiled. And then we have the pages. Yeah, you have this folder called pages and everything you put in here will create routes automatically for you. For you. And you don't have to import React and stuff here at the header. Uh, and actually you don't need to do that now since React 17 either, but before, on every component you create, you have to import React. But you don't have to do that if you're on React 17. So that's our application. Let's see what it tells us to do on the site. Uh, okay, run the development server. Okay, npm run dev. We're gonna do that. npm run dev. It will start up the server for us. Localhost. 3000, that's the same as create drag app. Okay, so here we have it. Sweet, and those links will link us to their homepage. Okay. Get started by editing pages forward slash index. All right, let's check it out and see we have completed the first step. What text do you see on the page? Welcome to Next.js. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I can submit it. It was correct. Yeah, I feel so happy now and fulfilled that I got that one correctly. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Uh, you should see a page like this. Yeah, we do. It's this page here. So it's the same. So that's fine. Let's move on to the next one. Editing the page. Make sure the next JS yes, development server is still running. Yeah, it is. Open pages forward slash index.js. Welcome to under the h1 tag and change it to learn next.js. Okay, we can do that. Welcome to learn and save it and go back to our application. And you can see that it changed here. And I bet it was super fast also. I'm actually going to try that one out. If I do it like this. Super learn and save it. Yeah, it is super fast when it updates. So that's sweet. I love it. Okay, what's up next? Creating pages. Yeah, that's a good one. We can check out how you create different page, uh, pages and routes. Okay, next lesson. Create a new page, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of text, but I must say that this tutorial is, is quite solid. So I think you should do this if you want to learn next. They have good explanations, and I think it's good with all these steps, and you get points and stuff. It feels almost like a quiz or something, all right? Uh, yeah, downloads. Yeah, we already did this, so we can press next. Pages are associated with a route based on the file name, and this is sweet. We don't have to set up any routing system because it's built in with next, so we can create a new page. Okay, we're going to create a new directory called posts. That's what we're going to do. Under the pages, I create a new folder. Posts. I do exactly as they tell me here. 
under the pages, create the file called first dash post. Okay. New file first dash post dot JS. Sweet. Okay. I can just copy this one here. Paste it in. And you can see that they do an export default here. And they also use a regular function. So I bet I can just change this to const first post equals. I like to have arrow functions. And then I can do a export default first post like this. I like to have it structured like this instead. Uh, but of course you can do whatever you want. And in this case, we can make an implicit return. I hope this one will work. And as you can see here, as I talked about, also you don't need to import React first, as you probably be used to, like this, import React from React. You don't have to do that, but you can do it, of course, if you want, but you don't need to do it. And that's sweet to have options. Okay, hopefully this will work. Okay, the component can have any name, but you must export it as a default. Now make sure that the development server is running and visit forward slash post and first post. Okay, so I change that one here, posts and first forward slash post. And this is so sweet actually, because you can see it creates routes here for us depending on what folders we create and our files. So we created a folder that's called posts, and then you can put all your files there and just name them and it will create the routes automatically. I think that's so, so good, actually. Okay. Yeah, simply create the JS file under the pages and the path to the file becomes the URL path. It's similar to website using HTML or PHP files. And then we can do this quick review. If you wanted to add a new route, forward slash authors, forward slash me, what would the file name be, including the directory? Yeah, we should put it in pages and in the authors and me. Submit. So really easy to handle routing. And navigate between pages, all right. We have a link component, okay, that's great. You may recognize the link component from other libraries and Gatsby and React Router. First in pages index, import a link component, okay. So we're gonna do that. In the index page up here, import link from next forward slash link, pretty easy. Then modify this line in the h1 tag, learn, super learn, yeah, that's the same tag, to this. We change the a to link. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, no, actually they have the a tag here inside a. So I create an a tag, and then it should say this page, okay. And we should change the href to forward slash posts, first dash post. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for that one. I can do some order formatting, hopefully. Next, replace the content of first post with the following. Yeah, it wants us to link back. Okay, so I'm going to copy this code. Go back here and go inside, go inside of first post. And I paste that one in and we can talk a little about it now also to explain what's going on here. Okay, they import the link component again. And then they have the header and then they have the h2 tag and they link back to the home page. So that's why they use a forward slash for the href. I'm going to save this one, and I bet they want us to try it out. Back to home. So that's great. Yeah, super learn <laughs> this page. Yeah, <laughs> pretty ugly, but I bet it will work. So you can see the routing is so simple with Next.js, and it's super fast. You can have both server-side render and static websites. So I think I'm actually gonna try this out a lot more. I really love it and it was so fast setting this up and I think I will get into it quite fast also. It seems 
very intuitive and simple to use. And hopefully I have something else to show you some other time. If you like this video, please subscribe and support me in this channel. I will put up a lot of content like this and regular tutorials also. Hope you enjoy this one. This one was the first in this format. I never done it like this before. Just totally unprepared and just trying stuff out. But I think it's fun because coding is often like this. You have to look something up, for example, Google it, like a lot of people do, even that you may not think that they do, they do it. And you have to look it up and see how it works and do some tutorial and stuff and learn new stuff. And in this case, I did the next JS introduction tutorial, at least some parts of it. They have more here, so you can go there and try it out yourself and build on this application here and do a lot of other stuff. So that's how I do it when I learn stuff. And hopefully you like this one. All right, see you in another one.